Tis the season to manscape yourself, okay? If you have friends that you actually care about, get their balls right, too. You have a father that you care about? Shit, if you have a mother that you care about, get your dad's balls shaved up good so he can lay that pipe down on your mom for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. It doesn't matter really what you celebrate, okay? Make sure you go to manscaped.com, all right? You use our promo code Andrew, and you're going to get 20% off. Use the promo code Andrew, get 20% off. That's what it is. Now let's start the show. It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Uh, welcome to the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. You can turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace, okay? Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And today's Brilliant Idiots episode is also brought to you by a site that I really love, BetterHelp, okay? Whatever struggles you're facing from depression and anxiety to trauma and grief, whatever your mental health ailment may be, BetterHelp can connect you with a professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can schedule secure video or phone sessions as well as chat and text with your therapist and anything you share is completely confidential. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. Our listeners even get 10% off your first month with the discount code idiots so why not get started simply go to betterhelp.com slash idiots and fill out a questionnaire to get matched with a counselor you'll love today now we're waiting on andrew to get here uh but i got two special guests in the building first of all miss ida rodriguez you know what i want to say thank you because when i was doing press for my netflix special i got more response from this show than any other hey i got a lot from the the um the Breakfast Club as well, because you posted a specific clip. Mm -hmm. But the overall interview that I did here was very well received. A lot of people reached out to me. I think this is because, uh, I mean, we have conversation on The Breakfast Club, but we have open discussion here as well. And people feel like they're in on the discussion. Yeah. So they want to chime in. But uh, Eric Rivera is here, too. Yeah. Uh, he has a special on HBO called Super White. Super White. Super White. I haven't watched it yet, but I remember the commercial when you walked in with Ida because you just came in with uh -huh. Ida today and you said, like, that's Eric HBO special. And I was like, yo, I think I seen the promo for it. And I just remember the name Super White. And I was like, why does a Latino have a special called Super White? Because <laughs> well, I'm, I'm talking on topics of being Latino in America, you know, trying to assimilate, but also keeping my culture at the same time. Got you. You know, we live in a climate where... Kind of tough being Latino right now. Let's talk about this. Do we have to assimilate? I don't. I. I. I, I don't have a choice. I can't, really? I can't, I can't assimilate. Yeah. I can't tell nobody. Well, I'm that's white. the narrative they keep throwing at us. Like if you if you read these pieces like on the New York Times and like all these publications, they say you gotta assimilate to be in this country. We we constantly hear, oh, you gotta speak English. This is this is America. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, do yeah. this because this is America. Yeah. And some Latinos get scared. Like I remember in my house, it was. My father was like, oh, we only speak English. We're going to fit in. Don't don't try to rock the boat. And my mother, being from Guatemala, an immigrant, she was like, no, no, no. We're, we're, we're Latino. We're going to we're going to face this head on. Yeah. Maybe we're putting a negative uh, uh, connotation on the word assimilation. Then. Well, I mean, it, it don't mean you got to sell out. Right. No, it means. Yeah. Because to a lot of people, it means being whitewashed uh -huh. or selling out, losing a sense of yourself. And, you know, we assimilate into a culture that is constantly appropriating ours. Yeah. You know, like that's the, the confusing part. Like we're like we're trying to talk like them. We want to move like them. We want to be seen like them. And they get corn rolls. They making tortillas. Yeah. Taco like, Tuesday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And it's like it's really just they. Just, it's a mind fuck. Like, LeBron tried to trademark taco fucking Tuesday. Uh, no. <laughs> Think about the level of entitlement and privilege. That's some white man shit. Uh -huh. To try to fucking trademark Taco Tuesdays. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know what's so funny about the assimilation thing, though? I feel like I I I want to double, quadruple down on my blackness. Mm. Well, you, the thing, the reality is, though, you have no choice because you are black. Yeah, yeah. But Latin people run a spectrum of 
colors and race, right? Shades, yeah. So really? there are some people that are blonde and blue eyes, yeah. and they're like, I'm Latino, you know? And so they can assimilate, and they... You know how many executives in Hollywood are white, they, and they're Latino, but they rolling with the white people, and then they oppress us of a darker hue. So what do you do when your last name is Rodriguez, or Rivera? Man, you you you, you suffer. You gotta suffer, yeah. Really you struggle, <laughs> yeah. Because right, as soon as you hand in any kind of script or anything, they have in their head what that stereotype of what you should be. Yeah. So they they fight you when you're like, no, no, this is who I am. Like, no, no, no can you can you put a sombrero on this? Can yeah. you can you tackle this up a little bit? And you're like, I'm I'm Puerto Rican and Guatemalan. I can, we don't even need tacos, man. Like, <laughs> uh, and it takes a black woman to say to me, "Come on, I'm gonna take you with me." Yeah, because we don't do it. Yeah, you know it's so fucked up. That is true though, because it's like, uh, it's 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 they're trying to make you a stereotypical Latino based off what they think Latino is. Right. That's right. You know what I mean? When the reality is, you should just let Latinos be Latinos and let them tell the stories they want to tell and tell the jokes that they want to tell. Right. Like that's I like diversity. I don't yeah. like looking at the same old shit. I will be more prone to. Turn on your special because you're a Latino with the title super white. Right. To hear what you're talking about because I want to hear your perspective. Yeah, but Hollywood doesn't want to do that. Like, even if you look at the track record of shows that have made it on air. Yeah. For Latinos, it's always been run by a white guy. There's white showrunners behind it, white writers, because they just don't, I don't know if it's they're scared of us telling our stories or they don't trust us to tell our stories. Yeah. They don't have, white people don't, I mean, Latinos don't move up in the hierarchy in Hollywood. So we don't have showrunners. We don't have writers. Because of Oscars so white, black people flipped the table in Hollywood and created a space for themselves. But the problem we have is that we're not a monolith, right? Mm -hmm. So we have white Latinos and they're like, we're doing all right. We working. We, everything is good. What are you guys mm -hmm. complaining about? Because they, they have the white privilege. And it's, it, it's so disgusting with us. We're always complaining about how we don't get shit. Always complaining. You see the hashtags, the brunches, all of these, the Hollywood bitches having these meetings and they talking about this and talking about that. But the minute they get on, they only fuck with other celebrities or they want to fuck with white people mm -hmm. and they don't create a way for new people. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm over here. That's why I'm over here because I really, when I speak it, I mean it. And they don't do that. They don't do that. So it takes Wanda Sykes. It takes Tiffany Haddish. It takes Shaquille O'Neal to create a way for other people because Latinos are not doing it. And yes, Hollywood has a responsibility to it, but so do we when we have power. When we gain power, we're supposed to throw the rope back and we don't do a good job at nope. that. So who are the white Latinos? There's a lot of them. Like, I don't, like, I, I, well, I wouldn't you, got, you got Louis C.K. who's half. Get the fuck out of here. For real? Mexican. Yep, Mexican. Tom Segura is another one. He's half, but he'll never claim it. Whoa. Yeah. Speaks full Spanish, too. He nope. says he's Argentinian. Yeah. He says he's Are y'all sure y'all want to claim Louis C.K. at this moment? <laughs> now, well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Is there any benefit to the whole black and brown thing, though? Because, you know, like nowadays, especially in radio, because, like, you know, the Latino community is so big, especially mm. here in New York. So they'll be like, make sure you say black and brown. Right. Like, is there any real benefit to that? I mean, if we found solidarity, if we found, first of all, when black people uh, in the civil rights movement, Latinos benefited from that greatly. And if you study Cesar Chavez and you study all of those people who really knew what was happening, you know, you know, you have Latinos saying, oh, immigrants built this country when we know that black people built this country. Yes, there is there is power in solidarity. The problem with us is that we don't even know how to treat our own black people. Mm. Right. You, you, you hear people from Cuba. The Dominican Republic is struggling right now with this Haitian crisis. Haitian people are Afro Latinos, too, which people don't know that. Yeah, they always say Dominicans are just light skinned Haitians. Well, I mean, it's, they share the island. We share the lineage. We share the blood. The the colonizers that came there. Does it matter if France colonized you versus Britain versus right. America? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All that yeah, means yeah. is somebody raped your great great grandmother. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, there's power in that. We're the number one consumer market that supports everybody else. Mm. Most, we mm. don't. Our shows. We got to go on Twitter and cry. And ask people begging to watch our TV show. shows because we don't watch our own shit. Yeah. What are the shows? I'm, I, I promise you, I'm so. No, low. and that, that's a perfectly good question. Yeah. If you look across the networks, there are no shows. But like, if you if you really like like one day at a time was on Netflix, now it's on Pop, and everyone considers that a win. But I'm like, name what channel Pop is on. I, yeah. I'll give you a hundred dollars right now. You tell me what numeric channel that's on. I don't even know what Pop is. Mystery <laughs> Glaciers is on Netflix. 
Yeah. Oh, that's right. We got that one. And then Jane the Virgin ended. Jane the Virgin ended. They and try to, NBC tries to sneak in like, oh, but you got Superstore because America Ferrera's in it. But I'm like, that's that's it. Yeah. You're the only one. I guess because I grew up watching so much black content where Spanish people were always involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even when you listen to music, like Wu-Tang would be like Butter Peak and Rican. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It just yeah. seemed like like Latinos were always You're East Coast, represented. though. We're always, yeah. we're embedded in the culture here. We are more aware of our blackness on the East Coast, whereas in, on the West Coast, there's a big divide between the black and brown community by design. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we, we are, it, I mean, it, it's so ridiculous. Like I saw this presentation on Afro Latinos and they had the white Latinos. They were trying to explain to these white marketing people what Afro Latinos was. And they had the white Latinos and then they had the black, the Afro Latinos and they had Zoe Saldana on the white page because it's, it's exactly what the problem is. They think that once you hit it, Mm -hmm. now you're part of them, you know, you're not one of them anymore. And it it was very telling because I was like, Zoe Saldana is not white on no day of the week. She's not even she's not even her own skin color in movies. She got to be blue, green. Uh, <laughs> she, can't even, she can't even get a role in her own skin color. Mm-hmm. I, I never even knew what Afro Latinos were till about five years ago. Uh, we were interviewing uh, Dasha Polanco. Oh yeah, because uh-huh. it's trendy now. Yeah, and she said the term, and I was like, "What is that?" I really did not yeah. know. I was like, "What is Afro Latinos?" And she explained what it was. And like your people were killing me. Like I was supposed to know that. Right. Like because no, I mean that's bullshit. That's just the fake. The, this fake culture that you and I talked about last time. It's like everybody's just ready to jump on. They ain't doing shit. They are the, the main people online complaining. I have all these people, you know, like came after me because I said that the joke I did in Netflix about Latinos being racist, we not black and all this other shit. But the thing is, Afro-Latino is a new thing. It's marketable. They're mm-hmm. doing, they, they, they're they marketing to them directly for hair products, right? They market for really? skin products. Yes, because they, they know that there is something in the psychology of some of those people who don't want to outright and say we're black. So they are, they're going to go ahead and say, here, this is uh, a hair cream for people who ain't all that black but kind of black, you know, there's a market in that. So you think that corporate America gives a shit about Afro Latinos. So the thing is, the reason why you don't know what an Afro Latino was, because you are well aware that of a black person. So you're just like, that's just a black person that speaks Spanish. Yeah. I thought Afro Latino was a black father, Latino Latino mother. mother or Latino father, black mother. That's what I thought it was. Which I'm sure, I guess it is still, right? It's a cultural identity uh, with people who identify with their African roots. And they're those people who are sellouts who want to say, well, we have European roots. We're Sp-. They want to identify with the colonizer so much. I mm-hmm. hear people talking about, I have pure Castilian blood. I'm like, motherfucker, we all do. We all got yeah. banged up. Like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But the truth is, is that they had to figure out a term because... When you see television and you see ads, you never see black people who speak Spanish. They're, they're never included. And so somebody somewhere came along and said, we have to create a, a space for these people because they have a specific story. Because black American people are like, y'all not black. And then the Latinos are like, you're not white. So they they're, we're stuck in this middle place. And I, for one, appreciate my African roots. It's sad, man. Hollywood's sad. Hollywood claims to be so progressive, but they're so ass backwards because that's mm-hmm. exactly like they have to find a box to put you in. They have to find that label so they can understand you. Like that's that was the craziest thing for me moving out to L.A. You know, I did comedy here. And in comedy, you you funny, you, you move up. Yeah. That's how it works. And then you get out there, it's like, oh, what box can I put you in? Yeah. All right, you're going to go do these... Thursday quesadilla shows because that's the only way I can understand this. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna do uh, you're gonna do chocolate Sundays because that's the only way I understand that. That's why it, it's crazy. Like you see, like I don't go sell a show, and instead of going, oh, we bought this family show from Fox uh, on Fox, it'll be like, oh, we bought this Latino family because they have to put that label on it to for it to make sense to them. I guess it it kind of helps now though, right? Like I mean, I guess the identity politics that come with it because if everybody's looking for Spanish shows or Latino yeah. shows, no, because then it pits almost it, it almost pits us into racism because then you you'll hear the white comics, oh, they only got that show because got you, boom, they checking yeah, that box, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, they got that show because they got a, the black show, they oh the Asian show, that's that's why we're getting passed over, yeah, and then it becomes this 
this whole dialogue of white comics and white actors like, oh, we getting passed over for these roles. But if you look mm-hmm. on television, like y'all are doing just fine still. Yeah. Y'all are still ruining things. They ruin every. They ruin. They run everything. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both, Ida. Okay, God knows what He meant for you to say. He <laughs> needed you to say both of those things at the same time. <laughs> and you know what's funny is that the the when they do the Latino shows, right? The Latin people don't watch it because there is no Latin market, right? There, you got Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Guatemalans, Nicaraguans. And then they do these shows where they perpetuate the worst stereotypes about us and then wonder why we don't want to watch. Mm. The millennials and progressive Latin people don't want to see themselves in that light, right? And and they would say that about black people years ago. And then blackish comes along. And then, you know, the the new Negroes come along mm. and a different a different type of thought, like the black lady sketch show and insecure, where you're not perpetuating the stereotypes and then people show up and they're like, oh, wow, Mm -hmm. the black people who read do watch television, (laughs) right? So now that's where we are. We're in this space where they want to do shows about us where we are, you know, over-sexualized as women. Gotta we are struggling you str- Puerto Ricans always got to struggle. Like, they can't even play themselves on television. Puerto Ricans have to play something else unless they're in jail mm-hmm. or they in, you know, on law and order abandoning their kids. So it's, it's like we, we have to live this reality that we got to create our own shit. Like, mm-hmm. that's where I am now because we sitting around waiting on them. And they're not coming for us. It's so interesting to me because I think about growing up in like the 90s and like we always had great representation. You had the Cosby show. Yes. And you had, you know, Different World. You had Martin. And then, you know, prior to that, you used to watch Good Times on rerun. So it was always like a balance. You would see the struggling mm-hmm. family, but then you would see the family that's winning. Right. Then even I think about Latinos. I remember, uh, what was Lucille Ball's husband? Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz. Arnaz. There's the reason we've got multi-camp sitcom, but, but we, you know, we don't have any sitcoms. You don't ever hear And that was so wild because he was married to, that was, he was white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why wasn't it a problem way back then? Like, it would seem like it would have been more of a controversy back then. But he's that also white. And he's white? Well, he's a, uh, white, he's a Cuban. white Cuban. Yeah. If, he was, he, if you didn't, if he didn't open his mouth and you didn't know he was Cuban, you would. He be wasn't like, a David Ortiz Latino. He was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it was in black and white, so you really yeah. couldn't tell. Yeah. And yeah. he was married to Lucy. Yeah. And he was married to Lucy. Yeah. And who I was empowered at the time and empowered him. Did they ever explore that? I never watched. Like I didn't watch the show. Did they ever explore his his heritage on that nah, show? No, it was. He was always just at the club, dan- at like dancing, doing the the songs. They would yeah. cut to him. Like yeah, it was a problem because even if you saw the bedroom scene, like they never had. The the beds together but that's all separate, the, all yeah. those shows though but for them especially it was just because he would be raping a white woman <laughs> and they never had kids yeah they, no, did. they had a kid they did. They had little, seasons. little ricky you but, stopped watching after season one i never watched that shit at all <laughs> he was white. i just used to see the like clips of it yeah but you know what's funny though he was still on that show he was a stereotype of a cuban man he was always yelling loud he yeah, was yeah. music he would he had a short fuse went into rapid fire and spanish then, and his his accent was always the butt of the joke Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like he was, you know, and, and and listen, for what he did, God bless him, but it's time for things yeah. to change. 50 years later, we still got Sofia Vergara's with the accent. Like, we can't break out of that. Yeah. You know what I was thinking, too? Um, like what What is the Latino story, though? Like, because, you know, with, with, with black people, the story is, you know, they know slavery, right? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like that's, for better or worse, it's American history. Right. What is the Latino story? They, they learning right now. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody's got their own story. Like you either got the immigrant story, you got as 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 hard it is for people to understand. A lot of us are American born. Like I'm first generation. I was born here, so it's just dealing with everything now happening with this climate. But yeah. we're not exploring that. There's no no outlets for us to tell that story of what's happening and how some of us are scared. Instead, they want to constantly see us struggling. We got to be the help. We got to be the maid. We got to be the landscaper. But like, what about us? Like yeah. we're right here. Is there any comedy to be found in that though? Like, the, what, a, I mean, like what's going on at the border and all? You know what I mean? I mean, there's there's not. It doesn't have to be comedy, but you know, there. The thing is, the the problem is that we lack a spectrum, right? Mm-hmm. So, if we had a show that was a good comedy show, we could have a show about the border and everything in between. White mm-hmm. people have that, right? White people have they have the Thirty Rock. And they have Grey's Anatomy and everything in between. They even got Honey Boo Boo, which is a balance. So Duck we, Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, you see that foolishness, but there's a balance. 
with us, we got three shows. Mm -hmm. So anytime you put that imagery out there, you fucking with our well-being. Because what happens is when you see a reflection of yourself in media, that affects your subconscious mind. And people always like you get so you go into all this deep stuff. It's true. Mm -hmm. And every time and it affects the way people see you, too. Look at what we have. uh, The problem we have in America with how they perceive young black men. Because, and young black girls. That that's why I didn't I didn't share Sharkeisha because that feeds that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It feeds. Then then yeah. you got a cop strangling a 12 year old girl because that's what he thinks that, that black young black mm-hmm. girls are. And so it, it's no different when it comes to us. We don't have a spectrum. Right. So of course we when we do shows about the border. But it'd be nice, uh, you know, not necessarily find the humor in the border, but also, like she's saying, find that spectrum. Because the middle America doesn't can't find those shows. You can't find pop. Mm-hmm. They might not have Netflix to watch Mr. Iglesias, but you're hearing our president go on and like, oh, they're rapists, they're drug dealers, they're this, they're so that. So he's creating the narrative. And then they watch TV, and we're nowhere to be found except as the help or narcos or some crazy yeah. shit. So, that's what, so now that's the image they have in their head. Yeah. Latinos are all bad people. Yeah. You know? So how do y'all go about changing that narrative? Creating your own shit. Mm. Um, you have allies. And I say Tiffany's name all the time and people are like, well, in addition to being my friend, she she and I are gonna, are producing a half hour sitcom based on my life mm-hmm. right now because she knows the importance. Actually, and I did the deal before her. She came along and she was like, no, nah, we got to make sure that this gets done. Word. Because they... She, she, she's so proud of the fact that she put a Puerto Rican woman on Netflix. No, c- continue. So you say, okay. She's so. Andrew just walked right. in. I'm no, here. no, it's hard to. My umbre. What I said. It's hard to do this without Hi. without you poking fun. So I was like, it's too serious. You know what, what I mean? What are you talking about? We're, We're talk talking about-, about the Latino struggle in Hollywood and just. Uh, in in, in life and life in general, <laughs> you got what? There's a movie called Mexican Me. <laughs> you think that See? Tiffany would have that um, mindset if she didn't grow up in L.A.? I think Tiffany has. You know, L.A. got the black Mexican thing. Yeah, but I think right. she has that mindset because she's highly intelligent, mm-hmm. right? Swear a, little bit. a good businesswoman. She also is made up of the good stuff. She's good on the inside, yeah. and she knows that. So the thing, I think one thing is that me humanizing a Latin person to her, we have such a parallel story with our mothers, our siblings, with the oldest sibling. We raised our siblings. Our mothers suffer with mental illness. We both were raped. We both had, uh, we had so many things in common that she was like, this shit is a, this shit ain't got nothing to do with me being black and you being brown. It got to do with we ain't got no money. Yeah, yeah. It's just a story. It's a, it's a, everybody can, rec- everybody can relate the struggle in some way, shape, or form. A good come up story. Absolutely. And so I think for her, it's, you know, she looked at Flame. Flame would never, ever, nobody was going to come get, because Flame is a transgender, a problematic transgender person, right? Why do you call him problematic? Because that's what they call him. Right. The fact that we say him and he's like, I'm cool with that. And if you say her, he says, I'm cool with that too. You could call me there. You could call me whatever you want. And transgender people got very upset. And they were like, you're not using the pronouns. You're very problematic. How could you agree with Kevin Hart? But I, I'm of the school that everybody's got a, a right to their perspective based on their own life views. Flame is a black man from South Central Los Angeles. This is a show that you guys are the Flame? Who's Flame? Flame is one of the specials that Tiffany produced. Oh, for... Flame is a comic. We need to have Flame on. Yeah, you yeah. should. Flame on. <laughs> what, what cartoon was that? What co- <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> Four! Flame oh. on. <laughs> I was thinking about Drag on. No, Flame on. Flame on. Human Torch. You still yeah, do that. yeah, yeah. Um, I want to have Flame on. Yeah, let's have him on. I didn't uh, even I'll know connect. this is a comic. Uh, her on. I don't know. I'll connect because Flame wants to be on. Flame wanted to, re- Flame wanted to respond to the Malik Yoba thing. I yeah, told yeah, Tiffany yeah. that yesterday. What? Yeah. Because she was talking to me about Flame, and I was like, "Y'all bet you he got a great perspective on oh, Malik yeah. Yoba." And he huh. was—he was like, he texted me that day and was like, "I gotta get on so I can speak on it because Flame has one of the best hearts in the game. Yeah. But Flame is like one of the realest people you'll ever meet, and I respect that because Flame was like, "I still get pulled over by the cops, and I'm still a threat because I'm six Plus, and I'm a black man. They don't. They just see a black man with a wig on. Suspicious, yeah. right? <laughs> I gotta say, you look suspicious, my guy. Uh-huh. Like, you just do. You look suspicious. Yes. You're riding around with a wig. I mean, we don't. Not, nobody knows that you're transgender until they actually probably 
pull you over and talk to you. You right. know what I mean? But just if I'm a cop and I'm watching you and you're driving by with a wig, I'm like, all right, put the blue lights on. See something, say something. I'm serious. <laughs> You can't see why that would happen. I'm so glad that you're going to get do pulled this. over for a wig. Yeah. <laughs> don't you think you just think it was like an ugly chick if you were driving? I'm glad you don't. I don't think you would know the gender of the person in the car. I don't know. I got to see him with the wig on. I got to see how it looks on him. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It may, may if it looks like oh okay flame that's your thing but some people throw the wig on and you're like hey, come on it's crooked I see nah, that. you ain't done you've never done that you know what I'm saying it's your first time yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised that you're not saying that. <laughs> saying what? <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, you. What? What? Uh, you know. Explain. You I might agree with what you're saying. No, I just like that. Uh, you know, you say things that white people are scared to say now. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. That's I think it. a lot of people are scared. White to people say, are scared say to say shit. anything. I just uh, saw a white man screaming "nigga" and Popeye, so oh, I know white people ain't scared to say listen, nothing. That's a good I sandwich. That video. <laughs> <laughs> if a chicken sandwich makes a white man scream the N word. I gotta go to Popeye's again, bro. That's shit commercial. That right is there, right? Com Yo, Popeye's is loving these people getting murdered. Look, I think that they're paying for the people getting murdered because isn't that the no. best advertising? Is that not the best advertisement? I, How I, much I, it costs to murder somebody? It depends. Thousand? Seven sandwiches. Seven, seven bro? sandwiches. <laughs> give you seven Think sandwiches. <laughs> Think about it, right? If you're ad exec and you already didn't care what people, if people lived or died, right? Because you're selling them these greasy ass chicken sandwiches. They're all getting like cholesterol. They're all dying later yeah, from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You spend $500 or $1,000, kill one person over a chicken sandwich, right? I got to try the chicken sandwich. I think Popeye is sponsoring the Explorer page it's on Instagram. It's not Popeye. Popeye. It's not really. He's yeah. not the guy who owns it. <laughs> he used to be the Popeye's behind this. It used to be the logo. At one point, he was the logo for Popeye's chicken. You really? Saw, there yeah. were vegans in that line. No. <laughs> you giving up on their beliefs. That's all I'm saying. Is like the drama is the best thing. You know, the drama is the best thing to sell it. That's what I would do. Because it makes everybody wonder, like, why is this sandwich no. this fucking good? Yo, people Which I refuse fighting to eat, each other. By the way. white guys fighting each other. Did I loved you see it. it in the in the drive through. In the drive through. I loved it. This is. The best thing that could possibly happen it's for the It's an chamber. American consumer craze. This yes. happens all the time. I don't know why we're acting like this Tickle just happened Elmo. with the Popeye chicken. Tickle me, Elmo. People Yo, motherfuckers were other. fighting over it. For anybody who thinks this is a black thing, yeah. okay, wait until Black Friday yeah. and they have those sales at midnight. That's why they call it Black Friday because we act black. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. I'm black, baby. He's I just had to get my coffee in the system. <laughs> I should throw it up. Oh, no. I like, threw it up. I'm just away. Look away. Oh, he dumped it. <laughs> nah, them white people trampled the uh, on Black bro. Friday. They, them white people trampled. Remember they killed that's what people love. Sale, they do bro. this all the time. A this is a, we're in a capitalist bro. country, yeah. and that's just the latest American consumer craze. It happens all the fucking time. Whether oh, it's concert it. tickets, whether it's sneakers, they, they do this shit in New York all the time. Where they be having like those those uh, restaurant weeks and shit like uh, that. What the, happened? The line be out the fucking down the block. Yeah, but what's that not, cake place in Jersey? Uh, cake, cake man, or some shit. They, they uh, cake boss, cake boss. I That's think, might I be down the might block. Be, they might you think, you think Chick Fil A is having meetings right now? Like we need a fist fight, bro. Chick Fil A. Uh, would you <laughs> not? Would you not? Would you not? I already gave Chick Fil A. I'm already curious about the chicken sandwich. Yo, You're gonna was, have it I'm if they're fighting. You have to later, do it. Boys, <laughs> mm. I watched that video. Over. They beat the shit out of that white dude. What happened? They made that. They beat the shit out of him. What he do? He said the n word. He said the n word, and Popeyes walked out all tough. But he he went down the he went down the line. Yes. Wait, he just like, said, you are an N-word, no, you're an N-word? No, they was arguing. And he, I don't even know what the, how it started, but they was arguing. And he was just like, F you, N-words. And then he was like, get out of my way, N-word, and stormed out. And I respect the people in there. because They didn't tear up the Popeyes. They waited till he got outside. <laughs> and then they, and then they whipped up. his they ass. They respected the now, Has anybody taken that clip and then put the jingle on at the end? <laughs> <laughs> the do 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 that's genius. <laughs> Another great advertisement for Popeyes, man. That's the best. Dude, that is the best. And think about it. It's like, you could even go, this chicken sandwich doesn't even cause the itis. Like, if, if you need to beat someone up immediately after, you could do it. Whereas other chicken sandwiches will tire you out after. And like I'm going to tell you what else was good about that clip. They stole his sandwiches. As oh, they're beating yeah. them up, somebody's like, take your sandwiches. No, your caption. Your caption, though. Tell them your caption. It was good. It was good uh, verb noun usage. What did he say? Because the, the black guy's beating the white dude up, and he goes, who you calling a nigga? Nigga. <laughs> so it, Proper verb noun uses, bro. I, I never learned verbs and nouns and that kind of stuff, but... My mom was an English teacher. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I think that's great, and I support it 100%. And Popeye should not be held liable. Like, they talking about they should pull the sandwich. No, they Cause shouldn't. Because it's good? Wow. Because it's yeah. good? I'm not responsible for how people act in line over my sandwich. Right. I'm not. 
No, that's ridiculous. That's like when they tried to pull the cartoon because of uh, peanut allergies. Uh, and be, uh, the kid oh, that, that, that movie. Yeah. What? They tried to pull the <laughs> movie. Uh, so did they, and, you know uh, about that? I think it was no. Peter Rabbit. And no. he makes fun of another little animal because he can't eat a certain fruit or something. He's like, ah, you can't. And because, oh, he's shaming him because of his food. They His want dietary. Get the fuck out of here. If my kid's allergic to, to nuts. I'm like, I'm, I don't care. Do you believe that for real? Is that real? Oh, yeah. I, that that thing is real. My man blew up like he was turning really? into the Incredible Hulk. And I was like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> and did you give it to him because you're like, you didn't believe that he was really allergic? No, nah, he you... was at that age. Like, so once they hit one, you're supposed to introduce new foods. And I was yeah. doing something. I had a little peanut butter. Here you go, little guy. And, and then, then I look and his face started blowing. I was like, did Hold you up. think allergies are not real? I, <laughs> you no. thought it was a, oh, a lot of I, things I don't think are real though. Oh, but, like, what people is, there accept, are some people in yeah. LA that tell me the allergies. I'm like, I don't know if I that's that what shit. I'm saying. The nut thing, you know, you know James Mattern, yeah, comic, yeah, yeah. and uh, but he is like a deathly ill peanut allergy. Yeah, like to the point where like he can't even shake hands with somebody who's mm-hmm. been holding it's peanuts. Really bad, yeah. Um, or be on the fucking plane, something like if they open the peanuts right. on the plane since it's a. So they don't, get, really? they don't get peanuts anymore. Now they get pretzels, pretzels. and biscotti. I had peanuts on JetBlue yesterday. Yo, biscotti is such a trash fucking cookie, man. Yeah, how did this? How did this make it this far? Your people. No, <laughs> I'm Scottish. People? We don't have food oh. barely. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on cabbage. I love when white people get blamed for white people stuff. They pull out their nationality. Yeah. They're like, I'm Scottish. I'm seventy six percent Irish. Can we not? Can we not have our country? Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. Fighting about the same patch of you land for the last hundred fifty years. Your uncle does not have a Scotland tattoo on his neck. You don't get to be us. That's Ooh, not wait a minute, you need a tattoo? is that true though? Yeah. If there's Scotland people repping the I'll tattoos, I'll do you one better. Mm. My name is Andrew. That's the St. Andrew's flag of Scotland. Your name ain't Puerto Rico. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Who's more I proud? Think, I think white people do that, and it's so funny because. Well, like, we have yeah, pride no when white people have pride of where we're from. You can, listen, like everyone else. I, I've seen all the signs in the last week. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being white. I'm like, no. I every... said Scottish, not white. Nobody Scotland's looks at you. a culture. Nobody looks at you and says. There's only one Scottish person they ever respected in America. Braveheart. Roddy Roddy Piper. Oh yeah, yeah that guy too. <laughs> <laughs> you agreed yeah. you know, what's the, that no I'm saying there's a difference between what you uh, what your skin is and what your race is and like what culture you come from like Italians have a lot of pride in Italian culture right. black people are okay with that all of the Latinos people are who've okay been with oppressed that. in America are proud of their culture because who hasn't been oppressed here I actually know Join a Scottish guy that's married to a Latino say again a Scottish guy who's married to a Latino, my, her, him and my daughter go to school together and they trick or treat together. And it was so funny because on Halloween, he had the the, the kilt on. Mm-hmm. And I just thought he was, you know, it was Halloween. He was like, no, nah, I just came came back from home. That's right. And he literally had the kilt on. Respect our culture. You're right. He's the married to a Latino. Re- Fuck no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's got an Andy guy. He's like, he's walking around with bagpipes and a kilt. <laughs> I can't I have something. He's got a Patagonia <laughs> shirt on and coffee in his hands from Starbucks. Like a Starbucks. Barney's in a Barney's yeah. New York hat. He's the fucking whitest white guy ever. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Listen, I got nothing wrong with being white. I'm not one of these guys like apologizes for some shit that I didn't control. That's why I fuck with Andy. But, um, Him and Neil Brennan are the most unapologetically white men I know. Fair enough. Fair I feel enough. like now you should walk on stage to Oh Danny Boy from now on. Yeah, <laughs> dude. No, <laughs> just mess with everybody. Andrew's white is different from most whites though, because he's in from Manhattan. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think when you're from Manhattan and you grew up in a certain era, like you're just around too many cultures. Yeah, you, you know, know what everybody's I mean? full of shit. It's like every like it'd I be agree. so funny. Like my woke friends, like my woke Spanish and black friends, would be like making fun of the Chinese delivery guy, and I'm like, word. Yeah, I don't. We're really with, woke. I don't. You gonna make? You gonna do the Chinese voice to the delivery <laughs> guy's face? And yeah. you woke? <laughs> Thank you for the food. Really? I bet you won't say that beforehand. <laughs> say, 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 <laughs> say, say it when you make you that order. order. <laughs> 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 you just bow in, hello everybody. <laughs> I, w- I want. I don't fuck with anybody who refers to themselves as woke. Oh my god! Yes, that's, that's the worst kind. Right All these there. woke people need some sleep. Go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> like oh you can't god. even check your daughter's pussy. Like, the, did you guys? Oh, talk let's, about let's, the let's pay some bills and we'll talk yeah, about yeah. that. Because I really thought Ti died. I love yesterday. that you said check your daughter's pussy. <laughs> you sound like that's my how mom. they're acting. They're acting like Ti was checking it himself. Yeah. That's he really got how they're a acting. Professional let's to put, check it and hold on. We come back. Let's pay some bills. Pay some bills. Other than your absolute best friends, who could you ask to bring you red wine at 4 p.m., sushi at 9 p.m., and a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m.? 
Postmates. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever you can think of, delivery service all year round. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver anything to you, okay? Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, Postmates will bring you what you want within the hour. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the known universe with more than 25,000 partner merchants. All right, for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app right now and use code IDIOTS. That's code IDIOTS for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. When you download the Postmates app, get anything you need anytime you need it download postmates and save with code idiots okay can we talk about um, let's talk about ti do you want to play the clip do we have the clip taylor oh you guys watched the clip played it you didn't see it no I was just oh yeah, Twitter. yeah yeah no 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 Did you, listen when i was when I, I was on the plane i was on the plane yesterday and when i landed yeah i saw ti was the number one trending topic Ooh. with 1.5 million Tweets. My heart immediately dropped. I was like, yo, what happened to Tip? Yeah. I really thought something bad happened. I'm yeah. like, you know how much 1.5 million tweets is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I clicked on it to see what the fuck happened. Yeah. And I saw it and I was like, yo, people really don't have shit better to do, bro. bro. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. So I think that's because he endorsed Bernie. <laughs> Oh. Really? Yeah, he endorsed him on the, t- on the view. He did, he did. And he, did. he went hard and I everybody was looking at him yeah. like this. And I'm like, all of a sudden, he's on. Uh, he's trending every couple of days. So you think they're trying to discredit him? They're trying to make him seem like because the people who follow Bernie are very progressive. Yeah, and that's not a progressive thing, you know. Like according to progressives, that's violating a bo- the body of a woman, you know, whatever the fuck they they saying over there. Because well, say what he did though, just, just, just so, so people clip. understand. Because wait a clip. So this is one time oh, we no. go. I think this might have been after his 16th birthday, and this is what we do. <laughs> Like, you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And, we go and check know, her hymen after. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after the party, she's enjoying her gifts. I put a sticky note on the dope. Gano. No. Tomorrow, 930. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and so, so look, right? So we'll go, you know what I mean? We'll go and and uh, we'll sit down, we'll sit down, and then the doctor will come and talk. And, you know, the doctor is maintaining a high level of professionalism. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, you know, sir, I have to, you know, in order for me to share information, I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. <laughs> they want you to sign, they sign this. this right now. They want you to sign I need to this, know if so. your hymen's still there. So we can... Uh, <laughs> Share information. Do you have is there anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. You are the worst. And so, and so then, right? Then they come and say, okay. Um, well, I just want, I just want you to know that there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken, right? Like bike riding, uh-huh. really, athletics. Okay. Horseback ride. That's aggressive. Um, <laughs> that is aggressive and, riding. You know, just <laughs> other other forms of, of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? Can no. Oh, so, no. <laughs> there you so go. I say, You're like, sorry, I say, doctor, look, that's I say, not look, a possibility. Doc, I say, look, doc. She's not. <laughs> she don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bike. She don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. So <laughs> moral of the story. Check my results. Moral of the story is T.I. has his, eight, his not his 18-year-old daughter, because she was 16 at the time. T.I. has his 16-year-old daughter's hymen checked to make yep. sure she's still a virgin. Yeah. Wait, where, what was that on? They, it was, uh, nobody was mad at them hoes in the background laughing. What they apologized today. <laughs> Ladies Like Us podcast. Okay. Yeah, they apologized today. So, okay. So, Oh, sorry for calling them hoes. Let's start with the woman. No patriarchy here. Go ahead. Uh, no. Yeah, go. No, my thing is, okay, so... So that many, would be very patriarchal. So many things to what? unpack, to let the woman go first. To like, allow the woman to go first as if we have this ability to allow them. Well, not allow. Well, That would I be patriarchy. Think, that is, you're right. But I believe in the patriarchy, so. so I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I will let you After talk. You, I, was I was waiting. I was waiting. I just, allowed. I just sit and wait on Continue. him to say, hey. Permission granted. <laughs> so, I, um, and, and, you know, I, I call them hoes lovingly. Right. But I, this is the thing. I, um, 
I, I've checked my daughter's uh, for my daughter my daughter's hymen before. I'm surprised that women that were in the clip. Wait, you, I'm going to tell you personally the, checked it. No, I took it to the doctor. Okay, um, and I'll tell you why. the The fact that he um, that they were laughing and didn't know that you can break your hymen by horseback or a bike or an exercise gymnastics. Yeah, I got a white wife. I took yeah. a soul cycle class. Broke my hymen. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you right now. Like, I'm just surrounded by toxicity. So, but look, this is what I was what I was gonna say. For I checked my, I had took my daughter to the doctor and I had her checked because I, uh, my daughter's very quiet. She keeps everything to herself, and um, there were some things going on at her school, and I wanted to make sure she hadn't been sexually assaulted, and mm. I know she wouldn't, she wouldn't tell me. Mm. So I had a reason for doing it because I have been sexually assaulted, and and it's it lives in my head, but. You know, the, first of all, I'm tired of everybody minding everybody everybody else's fucking business and household, right? Like, we, people of color... That's T.I.'s fault, though. No, of course. He didn't have to share. He didn't have to share. He, he could have kept that to himself. That's, that's, that's really the mistake I think he made. He should have kept family business in the house. True, but he still can he still can run his house whatever, however he wants and mm-hmm. say whatever he wants, and he doesn't owe it to anybody. You can disagree with him. What you can't do is say, you have to go away because I don't agree Lord with what have you're mercy. doing. Yes, and that, that's where we are. And the thing is, like, this is... I'm just going to say this because we live as people of color, we live in nuance, right? That was imposed on us, right? Like when Kevin Hart said what he said about his son and people were so upset and they were like, he needs to go. He's been canceled. The reality of us grew a lot of black and brown people grew up in people in households that were taught that homosexuality was bad because we were taught that through Christianity, Church, right? right? And yeah. so they put that on us. And now the white people who told us, that this is this is wrong and you're going to burn in hell are not condemning you for saying this is wrong and that's why I have a problem with all of this. We yeah, can't but not have the a- same white people. Like A lot of white people grew up in those households as well. Yeah, because they people. were indoctrinated by religion as yeah. well. Poor people. Who do you people. think told y'all, taught y'all about the religion? Yeah, y'all came to our Y'all religion. did. <laughs> and then y'all turned Welcome around, to the club. <laughs> and then turned around and said, y'all wrong for thinking like that. So we never have an opportunity to have a real conversation about things now because of this, right? right. So T.I. can't even sit down and have a real conversation about this because there are a bunch of feminists now who are like holding their ears t- and they're like, we we canceled them. We don't want to hear. Mm. But that feminism movement don't have shit to do with us because it does not include us. So don't... don't Meaning women of color. Women of color. Yeah. It's, it's built on our backs and then used to exploit us when, it, when it's beneficial. Mm-hmm. And it really is about us and so now you want to scream and cry to T.I. about what's going on with his daughter but you don't want to scream and cry about Tamir Rice and that's why I don't want to hear that shit you know what's so interesting about the T.I. thing um, like it is a, it is a, a chance to have so many great conversations you could talk about fatherhood you could talk about you know patriarchy but yeah. the, the one the wildest thing to me is we give fathers shit for not being in their kids lives mm-hmm. yeah. but now you have a father all up in life. there even, even if you think he's being overprotective yeah. He's that involved a, a man taking his daughter to the gynecologist and, and actually being concerned that she's not having teenage sex. What is the issue? And also show what is the this, issue? My house, my rules. Yep. She's 16. My house, my rules. That's what my mom would say. That's what my dad would say. If you don't want to live here. You don't like him? Go. Yeah. No, you could leave. You could go get a job, but you like living in T.I.'s house. And we don't and know. part of T.I.'s house, the requirement is having a hymen. I'm sure there's other chores that you also have to do, yeah. but that's part of it. And you, you got to have a hymen, and we're going to check for the hymen. One hymen minimum? <laughs> one hymen minimum. I don't you, like- you could tell your kid not to smoke weed, right? Don't put weed in your body. You could yes. tell your kid not to put alcohol in your body. Yes. You could tell your kid not to put sugar. I had, I had friends that like they weren't allowed to eat sugar as a kid. That's how mm-hmm. protective their parents were. You could tell your kid not to put dicks in her body if you want. I think you should! Completely- it's what reasonable. daddy is it? I got three daughters. I'm trying to keep them from fucking for as long as possible. That's your job as a dad. Yes. Keep dicks out of your daughter. Is that a Chris Rock bit? I think no. so. Something well, like no, that. Louis. Chris, no, Chris, Louis? Rock, no was... Chris Rock said keep them off the pole. Keep, keep them off, off the pole. pole. But now you have, said, you have to Louis say like, off the pole in reality TV now. <laughs> in reality yeah. TV. Yeah. Yeah. But, then, but it, it is a common theme, right? In yeah. like men in stand-up having this bit. Like I got to keep my daughter from fucking. And why is it a common theme? Because it's a truth we all feel. You have a daughter or a son? I got two sons. You have two sons. So you got to... 
keep your son's dicks in other people's daughters. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want Not that either. Daughter. Not, Not T.I.'s daughter. Not T.I.'s daughter. But by yeah. the way, you don't want that either, though, because how old is your son? He's seven and three. Okay. I, I, that conversation's in the in the horizon. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but when they become teenagers, yeah. Yeah. you got to have the same conversation with them because you don't want them to get somebody pregnant because guess who got to take care of that? Yeah. That's right. You, yeah. Eric. And, that, and my mother raised me with, like, if you get someone pregnant, you at the house. Absolutely. You're gone. But I think there's a greater conversation that we can have because there's a lot of misinformation in that clip. Because like with Latin girls, there's the thing that that is told to like Cuban girls is like, I'm a virgin in my vagina, right? So they're having anal sex, they're having oral sex. That's a Catholic, ah! yeah. yes, that's but a that, Catholic school shit. Bro. That's what I'm saying though. It's like we're we're misinforming people, right? So then this is there's so much to unpack here. What would you rather? Oh, no, what no. would you rather oh, your you daughter? Know, would you rather your daughter be a virgin but like have had anal? No, My what I'm God. saying is that be- I'm asking. That, it's a that, question. That we put so much emphasis on right. the hymen yeah. as a result of being sexually active that we're missing the fact that mm-hmm. they can be messing around with a guy, which also fucks with your self esteem if you're not ready, yeah. which also sends mixed messages to you. Right. We can, and then you, they're doing all kinds of other things, or saying I, my hymen is not there because I was on a bike or on a horse and having sex and getting pregnant and getting STDs. So I think that the bigger issue here is a lack of information on sex education, right? Like, because well, clearly he, those girls know a lot about sex education, right? If they're right. doing anal and all that other take stuff, take the white man's time. religion, yeah. All right, you take that goddamn Bible, you put it in front of your daughter, and you tell her she's going to hell if she had premarital That's sex. It. Let's just we keep made it old some school. Good stuff. No, because then they tell <laughs> you <laughs> some good stuff. Get the dicks out of your body. <laughs> 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 oh, we got some hits. <laughs> 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 they, they got how many hail marys? How many hail marys? One Hail Mary to make Sports Center either? No, I know what that I'm saying. That would be da 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 The second we said don't get fucked, everybody around the world was like, all right, all right, all right we can get behind that. Uh, but what I'm saying is that when you do have sex, you said take the Bible, but in, according to the Bible, you get forgiven for your sins, right? You go Sunday, Yo, how you drop lit a is the Bible, though? What idiots wouldn't be Christian? Like, you could literally the day before you die just go, yo, I'm Christian. Yeah. And then I, I, maybe so you go sorry. to heaven. And then you go to heaven. That's, That's some bro, bullshit. It's an amazing I really, deal. Th- I really think God is up there laughing every time somebody gets up there. You really thought you was getting in with all that bullshit you did? <laughs> listen, so, if, hey, listen, if God's but, Jewish or Muslim, you're right. Right. So hell's empty. Is Say what, what they're saying. Hey, hell is completely empty. No, it's empty. full of the idiots that just didn't go, yo, my it's bad, It's the Satan Jay. and Hitler in hell. Say what? It's the Satan and Hitler. Even Hitler was probably like, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right before they kill his ass, he was like, was hey, wrong. look, I'm fucked up. <laughs> I would like some forgiveness. <laughs> that shit is some bullshit, man. I, um, but it's a genius system. Think who wouldn't get on board with that? Yes, you would love to know that you could do whatever the fuck you wanted to do, uh-huh. commit whatever sin you wanted to and commit, on yes. and repent. on your deathbed, repent, and I'm getting into heaven. What doesn't matter what's in the book? Yeah. It doesn't matter, because, or I didn't repent this day. Well, my bad. It, it's my bad. Yeah. And yeah. it is an amazing, like, isn't that what we do in life? Life is my bad. Yo, I showed up late today. My bad. I just think, <laughs> you know I, 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 yeah, I just think, you know, with the T.I. situation, and by the way, you know, I wish it was that easy, because... If, if we could just say my bad, there would be no cancel culture. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? If we could just say, hey, my bad. I'm sorry. I fucked up. It, it would be no cancel culture. But that's not the case. Because now they judge your apology. Yeah. Now it's like, it I don't think that's yeah. yeah. He that's didn't apologize what, apology. You know? He didn't that's apologize. You the show. It, the fuck, that's why you got to do it the Trump way, right? Like, you accuse Trump of something, or like the news accuse Trump of something, right? And then he just makes the same accusation on the person that accused him. He does not right? care, man. But Mark, it's genius. It's like, so like the the Biden, the what is like, it, Biden was like, you did this fucked up shit in Ukraine. And he was like, oh, word? What's your son do in Ukraine? China. And and China. But Ukraine, he was getting paid like 80 grand a month oh, just I to sit on a board. Ukraine. Yeah. Trump's a little more genius than that. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because Trump says... This is what I want to do, American people. I want to read the call on live television. Bro, nobody's sitting through that shit. So even if he doesn't do it, the fact that he says, I want to read real. the call on live television real. lets me know that my guy must be telling the motherfucking yo, yo, truth. Uh, yo, you grabbed him by the pussy, right? You said that shit about grabbing him by the pussy? What did he say in the fucking debate? He goes, you know what? I was saying that shit and those were just words. But you know who wasn't just words? <laughs> Bill Clinton. This woman's husband, who's right here. Yeah. Those are the four girls that, that yes. he raped yeah. in the front row. Front row. 
floor Hello. seats. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Courtside, courtside, yeah. yeah. bro. This is how you de- you deal with this shit. You never apologize. I felt Hillary's mouth get so dry in that moment. <laughs> like, bro, I, I got thirsty. I thought you said I fucked Hillary's mouth so dry. Man, shut I up. really <laughs> thought that's what you said. Who would fuck Hillary and not write a book? Fam, come on, bro. Dude, dude, this dude is unbeatable right now. Trump, son, it just he, he is wow. The, that's he, coming from a Latino. He, he is the Mayweather <laughs> politics. Have Nobody can beat him. No, who? Who? Don't say that. I don't want to believe. Don't speak that into the universe. The only thing that they can do is, is Bernie. Win. That's the only thing they can, be, they can do. He's not going to win. Nah. Yo, and that's why they dropped that Popeye's chicken sandwich to get him out of here. His heart can't handle that shit. I don't think. I don't, <laughs> they got Popeye's and T.I. I don't think Bernie can do <laughs> it either, bro. He, in 2016, he would have been the one. 2016, not now. I don't think Bernie can do it, bro. But who is it? I don't think the Democrats have nobody. I mean, oh. listen, honestly, and, and people get mad at me when I say this, but I think Senator Harris is the best bet. But... It's not really gonna happen. Off. She's not. She doesn't. She's not polling anymore. She's polling really low. They really. What they really did. They got gaslighting has become a norm, right? So now everything. It, well, it Tulsi got her out of there. Well, and she got yeah. a bad record, yeah. according to some people. I mean, no, like, not just Tulsi. Because after the first debate, Kamala was on fire. Yeah, she just didn't keep that momentum up. The second and third debate. I think the second one is when Tulsi came at her. I think it was yeah. the second one. Yeah, yeah. and then after yeah. that, it was kind of it was it all was, downhill from there. It was no, it wasn't the second one. It was the third one. It was because the, the second one. She just came out kind of like shook in a way. She was playing prevent defense. She's like, I'm bodying motherfuckers. Let me just come out here and be okay. I'll let all these guys fight amongst each yeah. other. The thing about her is the reality of a black woman, mm-hmm. just like Michelle Obama and Barack. Yeah. She can only go so hard because if she goes too hard, then she is she becomes the angry black woman. Mm-hmm. So she's she's always teetering that line. Be the angry black woman. She's we love the angry black you, woman. We have to get nah, to the that, point where not, we... Yeah, you know, white America we have to, Absolutely. We got to get to the point Wait, where we're like... I like an angry black look, woman. Look what happened to, to Julian Castro. He, all he said was like, yo, you just said this. And they're like, look at this, dude. This disrespectful Latino. She has a reason son. to be angry. angry. At people. Latinos be disrespecting, bro. I'll be disrespectful, bro. I spoke to him about that this morning, by the way. Who? Julian Castro. Because I was trying to bait him to say that Joe Biden had dementia. Yeah. Um, I, I, I asked him about that. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, you said on the stage that he, you know, couldn't remember what he remembers. He's like, oh, I didn't mean it in that way. I was just saying that, you know, he forgot. And then we started talking about Medicare and he was like, you know, and Joe Biden is, you know, he's leaving out 10 million people. And I was like, are you saying that he's forgetting about 10 million people? He would not say forget to nah. save his fucking life. Good skin though on they that guy. Him, Great skin. Good skin. Great you think skin, he's Botoxing? Man. You uh, think he's toxin? Nah, nah, that's just natural. That's natural? Yeah, man. Wow. It's, like, it's like a, it's like the natural Latino brown mm. glow. But then he's got like a like the Texas a white tan glaze. on it. Yeah. yeah, Nancy Pelosi's toxin, but not. She looks like a candle. <laughs> that is a weird looking lady. <laughs> that is like a, a weird looking that, lady. Why does day? she get to talk? She got it fresh when she was like when she did that whole thing. If you look at that video and then look at a, a recent video, you can see the difference. Like really, it's so, yes. There's no movement. This her whole head. Like, yes, yeah, really, really funny. So she got Botox. No emo. Yeah, she gets it. Listen, we're not off the hymen though. No, we not off the hymen. Let me tell you something. That sounds uh, really hymen is a dope word. Doesn't it feel like it should be in a chorus. There's a great restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina called Hymen Seafood. I actually have a table in Hymen's. They have my name plate on a table in Hymen Seafood. So if you're in Charleston, South Carolina, go to Hymen's. It's a big tour attraction. People in Charleston don't really like it anymore. <laughs> a seafood restaurant with a hymen. Doesn't <laughs> that sound? <laughs> 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 Sounds like you need to go to the gynecologist. <laughs> I, I, but you know, I, you know what I think Ti was lacking in this whole situation. What's that? And I know I've been having these conversations. I started it last week about just the sacred masculine and the divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Like you know, you have to have both to be a whole balanced human. I think he was just la- lacking some divine feminine traits. You know what I mean? Like, how, it, it sounded very toxic. How do we get more feminine? Well, okay. I'm you, glad you asked you. that. It's yes. in me. How do I get it out of me? Is it my hymen? Do oh, I need to pop it? I have it here for you. These are the masculine qualities I think T.I. was displaying. Okay. Logic. Reason, we are logical reason, and reasonable people. Action. We're actionable people, too. We get busy. Oh, wait, we're Be- not giving him more credit. He let her have her birthday cake presents and then took it to the gyno. It's not like he did it during the giving. birthday. And at the gyno, he was being firm. Uh-huh. Firm. That's being firm. Yeah. Very true. And and I would even say a little bit of survival, right? Because he just wants to make sure she's okay. his daughter's okay, right? Who wouldn't trade a birthday party with all those gifts for a hymen a check? A T.I. birthday party? A T.I. birthday party. I let him. I let him give me a prostate exam. Facts. <laughs> you 
Gibbs he chick. Up? Birthday? My shit. For the Gibbs, he got now, his daughter. Now, these are the divine feminine qualities I okay. think he should have had to create the balance, right? All right, All right let's see. Uh, nurturing. Kind of gay, bro. Being gentle. Kinda emotional. Gay. And patience. These are all pretty I think gay, if you would have had those I, divine I feminine qualities with that, because sacred masculine can easily look like toxic masculinity when you don't have that divine femininity to balance it out. Can we be more feminine without being so gay about it, do you think? But that's the thing. Like, that's a, uh, that is a, that's a, a male archetype, right? Yeah. A male archetype is me saying, me being nurturing and, and having emotions and somebody saying, oh, that's gay. Because based off, based off false male archetypes that society is given. So how do you nurture masculine? Well, how do we know he didn't have those qualities? We have we heard from the daughter because all we're hearing is a clip. And the daughter was like ju- jumping to judgment. Oh no, the daughter liked mad tweets of people like shit. Uh, oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, go yeah. against the brand. <laughs> That's foul, bro. That's foul. What is nigga in water? We're supposed to be the Patriots. You know what I mean? Like, nothing gets out. Nothing gets out here. Nah, the daughter was liking tweets. I mean, listen, I'm sure that she's she's 18 now. She can make her own decisions, She'll though. get rid of At her At the hymen. time that T.I. was doing this, she was 16 years old. Mm-hmm. I'll be damned if I'm not in my house fucking playing prevent defense, too. When hey, did you I'm lose your virginity? I'm the goddamn goalie. When hey, did you? <laughs> I'm blocking all the dicks off my daughter's vaginas. I got three. <laughs> <laughs> and that is you talking about a group of people that a family that has had the reality of a young a young mom, right? Because mm-hmm. Tiny had a child very young. Very good point. So that and because oh. you live with that reality, because that's my reality. My daughter broke the cycle, right? So you people don't people. It's easy to get on Twitter and say, "Oh, you people are you don't know our life. Or, you don't know their life. You don't know the pain and the hardship and the struggle." And that's what every parent wants to do is to protect their children from that so at the at the root of this Mm -hmm. is fear right and we don't we want to condemn and demonize but we don't realize that this man is just afraid that one false move one bad move can fuck up his daughter's life Mm. and he's trying to prevent it and that's his perspective and he's entitled to that because that is a result of his reality and his life and everybody wants to take that shit away from you well what's the I guess the question is like how much prevention can you do right I think think that's really you can't prevent any of it no 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 meaning like um like how many, how much of a goalie can you be, right? Like how much is too much? So so checking a hymen, we might sit here and go, ah, oh, that's totally fine. But if you said to your daughter she's not allowed to leave the house ever, we'd probably go, ah, oh, that's a little extreme. She'll sneak them in. What if the that set- overprotectiveness came from her sneaking out? What if what if what if T.I. found out his daughter was sneaking out and going to meet some little boy, so he was being overly protective because of that? We That's don't know. That's a good point. Maybe yes. she got Hyman dripping all over the place, I don't right, know. from her nights out, and then he's like, well, "I'm tired of you." you. Say again. T.I. will fight you. Hyman, I'm on, on his place. side. Nope, nope, nope. There's Hyman all you, over the you're fucking couch. You're talking about somebody's Shows daughter, like Andrew. First Andrew, <laughs> understand? <laughs> you're Listen, talking about somebody's daughter. I am. Let's call Tip right now. I am a hundred percent supportive of checking the hymen yes i'm presenting a scenario in which it would make you want to check the hymen i don't know if i'm in support of checking the hymen listen the, and the other thing is the one thing we keep talking about is pregnancy right that's the fear like a lot of times that's the fear there's a miss a, a severe misinformation problem that we're having here and miseducation because a lot of people are scared she gonna get pregnant she's gonna you could get some shit. You can't never give back. Yeah, you get a disease. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Like people, just, and, 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 and if you're kids, having oral kids sex. Do kids have herpes and, and shit? Yes. yes. Not and, kids. Yes. yes. They have the have big, you ever seen 18-year-olds have herpes? That's the highest it's rate. Not that Gen Z. I thought you did. saw kids in high school. Yes. You seen Euphoria. I didn't see Euphoria. Well, same shit. Oh, What's happening? What do they got? This kids, it's just a TV show. Whoa. Starring a Latino. What is Zendaya? I told you y'all in shit. Oh, she's black and white. I'm sorry. That's Latina. <laughs> Technically, can't we all get along? Technically, you guys are proof. Who's the happiest people? Latinos. They're the mixture of all of us. Why don't we follow that lead? This is actually a good point, right? Aren't Latinos? You're the mixture of like natives, blacks, whites, yeah. Asian. We got you got Asian in there. Yeah, some How Peruvian the fuck country? did they get over? I don't know, man. Yeah, Peru. That, yeah, that. there's no way. Well, Filipinos, the Spanish went over there. You guys don't have Asian in you. Yeah, there's some really? Peruvian countries. Yeah, they like, Cuba has a Japanese whole city and... called 
the Orient, and it's all Asian people who are Cuban. God, I love how blatant Latinos can be. <laughs> <laughs> El Oriente. El Oriente. Yeah. And they speak, they, they, they're Asian. Dominicans have a lot of Asians, too. I was watching a soccer game, Mexican soccer game, and the, uh, the opposing team was Japanese. And um, the guy's calling the game. These are professional broadcasters, right? They scored a goal. And he goes, El Chino, mete el gol, or whatever it was. Yeah. But he just calls them Chinese because that's just the Asian term. That's they what call it. No. Yeah. El Chino. But yeah. that's that's incorrect because that's calling all of It's racist. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah. point I'm making. But they do it on television. <laughs> yeah, right on television. Yeah, you know, Eric, Eric was like, yeah, that's what. That's what they call him. They're, they're, my, my uncle is married to a Filipina. His son, they call him El Chino. El Chino. Yeah. I eat that El Chino. And you're like, like, I don't think you can say that, but all right. But, but, the, but the Chino, at least from my friends, uh, what they've told me was it's more about an eye structure. Yeah, my brother. So they're, they're like Latino dude, they're like, or chicks that aren't at all Asian, but they have yeah, Asian my eyes. Chinese. And they're called my brother's Chino. 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 Yeah. They call him Chino. Yeah, his even though life. he's not Chino at all. No, he's, he's just got the he's eyes. Puerto Rican. But all Puerto Ricans got Also, oh, it's Chino. based on Chino. It's like, it means because slant and slant slant eyes. It gotcha. doesn't mean slant. It means China. But they're like, well, that's how they look. So they look like that. They're gotcha. not a guilty culture, right? I, I assume. There's not a lot of like guilt, maybe sexually, but outside yeah. of that, like with race and Why stuff. Why do they have guilt sexually? Because of Catholicism. Catholicism. But it's really interesting what happens is when you're a little bit of everybody, mm -hmm. you don't have to feel guilt on behalf of the other people. Like white people, we have to walk around with this guilt. Oh, I'm sorry what my ancestors did. Does you, it matter you, you. though? Like cause nobody knows you're a little bit of everybody. We don't know that Latinos are a little of everybody. Look no. at these guys. I'm saying when you see them, <laughs> you, you see Latinos. Like, they, like, by the way, if the police pull Eric over, they don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm a little bit of everybody. Yeah. Like, yeah. Your name, last name is Rivera. <laughs> Get that Mexican right. out the car. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, all I'm saying, I, that's the police to them. What I'm yeah, saying yeah. Is, is, is I'm assuming Latinos to the world is like, you don't have to feel guilty on behalf of these other cultures that you have inside you already. Never knew that. Right. Well, it depends on which Latinos you're talking about. Because if you go to Argentina, that they all they look swear like they're Italian, though. Yeah, they're they like do. lean they hard really into do. that shit. It's like, hilarious. Yeah, they got their own little. You said you did. You didn't agree with the hymen. No, I didn't agree with the hymen only because like we know that the hymen can be broken in other ways. So even if you're getting the hymen checked, that don't mean that you know she's a she's a virgin. Like you know the hymen could be the hymen could be broken. She could still be a virgin. You believe that? That's what girls say I when they know. got their hymen popped by some no, dude. That's true. I wonder. They're like I, I was horseback know. riding. What did Tiny have to? That's say? right. <laughs> he worked. <Hey. laughs> <laughs> Every girl virginity I took said they was horseback riding. <laughs> <laughs> right? You hear me? <laughs> no, I'm bullshit. I was wondering where where Yo, how many virginities you got? <laughs> well, you know your number. Uh, I think I only have two. Yeah, because you fuck white girls, right? That's hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you talk about my white queens like that? <laughs> nah, they be fucking. I just do it off the backboard. <laughs> no, two, but they, they were white, virginity. though. One was white. I took one a white was white. Say again? I took a white girl's virginity before. And? How was it? Man, I don't know. I was, we was young. You just thought you did. Because <laughs> you black. Oh, you believed it? She nah, was like, oh, that hurts. <laughs> no, it's because, well, you what? know, black dudes got bigger dicks know. than white dudes. Yo, do black guys have bigger dicks than white guys? Outside of porn dicks. I gotta ask. I, I text one of my friends. I mean friend. that for real. Oh, you've never been with a white guy? No. Oh. You've never been with a white guy? I like the, look, I like the disgust in your face when you said no. <laughs> hold on. No. Ida. Right. Ida. <laughs> Ida. Hold on. Uh-oh. Let's show about on. the southern white man here. Hold on. hold on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Like a white man never <laughs> has been this, able to. <laughs> this is that. <laughs> <laughs> you better, you better sell white, white men like that Popeye sandwich, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> wait a minute. So wait, why why haven't... Let me stand up. Let me show uh -oh. you. Oh. Let me show you. Let me show you. Which is a whiteness, no, no, right? No, 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 no. Show's oh, got on the gray pants. Yo, so you're trying to show off you know that what kind, You know what kind of pants these are? Dickies! Let's go! <laughs> we out here throwing lobs. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, you've never been with a white ever? I like that you pronounce an H on you that. You gotta add white? the H. The, the, the H for the H. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put the hate in it. <laughs> hey, that ain't Jay Salad no more. Oh Yo, so God, you've never been with so a white? Stupid. Never once. Not yeah. even on a date? Not yeah, even yeah, on... I've dated white. And we make out good, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guys. We're good, good maker outers. But the ones that have lips. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> yeah, sometimes we don't have limbs, bro. Real talk, my mom looks like a bird, bro. She got nothing. It's a fucking it's beak on that lady. It's just I love her. I love it's her. That the lip goes in. Bro, when I kiss her on the cheek, it's hard. Like, it penetrates. It's like bone, you know? That's why I never understood the stereotype of white women giving great head. Say again? I never understood the stereotype of white women giving great head. It's more about, like, um... The things they'll do around it, you know what I mean? Like it's the, you know, when it comes to food, like plating mm-hmm. isn't very important. Yeah, they they, they <laughs> like candles, it's potpourri. Oh. They're doing everything. It's a whole experience. Oh, got you, got you. I had a girl. So anytime you oh, smell like God. a vanilla fragrance, you go, oh yeah, I remember that time. Oh, yeah. it's PTSD, you. dude. I forgot. Eric dude. said he's married to a white woman. Yes, I they am. know that. That's right. they, I'm telling you, white girls will do different shit with 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 head. Like I had a white girl once. Um, you know when they put like a caramel, uh, like thing on an ice cream cone uh-huh. how it kind of like wraps around yeah, 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 in a yeah. circle i don't know how do you what was that swirl. called caramel yeah. swirl but on the Did outside you a barista what is this <laughs> <laughs> she threw chocolate shavings on top <laughs> <laughs> she made a little heart in my yeah. cum <laughs> too much all right that would be amazing uh, but she did a, a caramel swirl around my dick with saliva yeah that's not sexy it's just a uh, high level difficulty yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate yeah, yeah. the high level of difficulty. She must have had a cold. That must have been mad mucus. You're really ruining this for me. Okay? You're, I didn't put it together exactly. at that time. Baby has a cleanse for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she was she, off to clear that right up, buddy. She definitely had a flu. She definitely yeah. had a flu. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, that yeah. now I look at it. But that's another thing white girls would do. Suck your dick on a flu. So. Does anybody think about that this? That was a flu game. That was a Jordan flu game. <laughs> and wonder where um, Ty, what Tiny has to say about this. Like, why did I'm she sure. take him to the gynecologist? Why didn't what she? after her daughter? Oh. That's T.I.'s oldest daughter from somebody else. Oh, I see, I see. I, yes, she is. I think she's the oldest. I mean, I don't. I could be wrong, but I know. No, the oldest is already... Oh, so maybe that is T.I.'s daughter and T.I. and Tiny's daughter. I don't yeah. know. I don't see a problem with it. That, that, that's the other debate you No, but it's having. like something you do with your daughter is that you take her to that doctor. But what if you're busy? If we're, if we're so busy, Yo. if we're trying to if we're trying to get rid of roles and all of that shit, why, can't, fathers, can't, win, bro. why can't a father take a daughter to the gynecologist? Kind of that's like me saying, "Yo, you can't take my son to football practice." Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just. This black man can't win, bro. Knowing what she had to say about it, you either out. You're I don't think black men. I don't you're think too men. invested. Yeah. Like, come on, yo. I think it's men. Period. But I do understand what you're saying when you say black men. I just feel like I said. Like you have fathers. White men, we don't check our daughter's hymens out. Future gets shitted on all the time. Cause for? It, cause for? For not being in his child's lives. Boom. So they say. That's what right. they say on, it, on Allegedly. Social media. Yeah. But then when you see somebody like T.I., overprotective, overly involved, he's doing too much. You're not going to tell me I'm doing too much when it comes to my daughter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to control her body. I'm just trying to control niggas' dicks from being inside it until she's a, a age where she can decide to do her own thing. I wish I could say that sentence. And we could. And we could. <laughs> that was a beautiful we sentence. Have to have that that real, was fucking poetry. That was I poetic. love that because that's how I feel it. When when you yeah. the way you said it is how I feel yes. it. But I have to change pillow. it. Yeah. <laughs> I got three at the house. What? I got three oh, little yeah, girls dogs. at the house, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm talking about dicks? And more tank? sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm a, a member of the LGBTGT community? All right? <laughs> LGBTGIF? <laughs> no, you missed it. It was the tank thing. You know, tanks. TGT? Tanks group TGT. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm Wade. <laughs> oh, no, no. Did you, oh, for, not, did you no, forget? No. Hey, I'm yes, sorry. Did you, you, did, you forget? did you forget? Did you forget? I thought you were Scottish. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> right. Tank is huge in Scotland. <laughs> oh, but he does like a bagpipe. So, so do we think T.I. was wrong? <laughs> Was Ti wrong? Um, I don't. I mean, who am I to say anybody's right or wrong? But what I did think that it was an inappropriate conversation to have in a public setting because right. it compromises somebody else. Yeah, like that yeah. young woman has to live with that, and it, and I think that he was he was so like. Not smug, but it was like jokey, jokey, and it was a laugh, and that that's probably what triggered a lot of women and mm. pissed them off because this man is here talking about like, yeah, that's that's my daughter, and this is how we do it, and it sounds like some shit that happens in Iran, mm. you know. Mm. So I just think that that was what what was probably, but what he actually does with his daughter, that's his business. Mm. And 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 by the way, I, I agree with you, Ida, but also she's eighteen, she just started college. Clearly, he raised her right. 
That's it. You know what I'm saying? You haven't heard of her being in no trouble or anything. Like, clearly he raised her right. Can yeah, just, so but, clearly something he's doing is absolutely correct. But now she's walking around that campus and people are that's like... That's fucked up. They're trying to try that's her. That's yeah, they want to try her. Like, he shouldn't have been talking about it in a public Because he that's trended. Thing, huh? You know how yeah. many things you say on a podcast that nobody yeah. ever listens to or hears? Yeah. 1.5 million oof. tweets. There it is. And, and that's when I checked it when I was at, at whatever time that was. So just imagine if somebody... If if there there's a trending topic, a national trending topic of tweets surrounding your dick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That poor girl for the rest of the life is gonna be the hymen girl. That's anywhere she goes, you know, oh, that, she that, is right that, there. I think that's like that's the not cool part. Yeah, about yeah. It. I, that's the only thing I'll say that Tip was wrong in. Like you leave family business. Yeah. In the house because now, but he didn't now, have a reality show about his family. He's used to sharing his family with the world. That right? is so, true. Yeah, but, but sometimes but, those people blur that line and they forget. Yeah, and they just oh, I'm just speaking fl- freely. This yeah. is not you know, and they forget what they're doing. And yeah, everybody on fair. that show is, is 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 volunteering to be on that show, right? Yeah. Like he, right. he, she didn't volunteer to have that information That's shared right. with right. the they world. They didn't go to the gynecologist. You know, so now you got all these digital dickheads right. chiming in yeah. on that's him and his daughter's relationship. And now that's going to frustrate me more because I'm like, motherfucker, do you know how well I've raised my goddamn yeah. daughter? Mm-hmm. My daughter's in college. She's doing better than most of y'all motherfuckers' kids. Mm-hmm. You know? That's that, some Chris Jenner shit, what he did. That what was he did. Um, straight up. That whole just divulging the information. and. and for, well, I have a question. When you get a, your first vagina... Tell me the segue. Okay. Where? How did we get here? Well, Chris Jenner. Ooh. Caitlyn. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This, I like when people connect the dots. Okay. Just make sure. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, Caitlyn Jenner, uh, I think he still has his dick and shit, but if he gets his first pussy, do you get one with a hymen? This just took a turn. <laughs> I'm just saying that is a good question, right? It's like you want to. Andrew just said, "Ti, hold my beer." (laughs) If I was getting my first pussy, I would like a hymen intact so I could bust my hymen. That's part of the female experience, is it not? I don't know. Is it? We'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, you want the whole new (laughs) shit? We'll be putting this out today. We'll find out tomorrow on Twitter. (laughs) I'm just saying that's a reasonable thing. Wouldn't you want the whole thing? Like, if you're gonna get the vagina, don't you want everything that comes with the vagina? You want the automatic doors? You but want the Caitlin, whole? You want virginity? Caitlyn's seventy, bro. Yeah, Caitlyn's seventy. Prison record. He hit somebody, killed somebody. That was cool. Caitlyn's so seventy, man. Too. Exactly. It's a I new don't part. want no seal at seventy. So you want a seventy-year-old pussy, dude? Not seventy. You don't, you don't want. To How old do you pussy? want your pussy? You want eighteen, right? You want a two thousand twenty pussy, right? Want you want fresh. that new shit fresh off the yeah, lot? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm wrong or right? It's got I don't know. Got you, got, you got the serious XM box. <laughs> <laughs> you, what she said? What she said? Taylor being in the background, Adam, and she's like, "It doesn't come with a hymen." As if she's bought one before. <laughs> like what? Did you look it, it up? Come with a, <laughs> say what? It doesn't come with a hymen. You can't put a little hymen in. You know how, like on Halloween, when people bite into a blood capsule and then the, the vampire has the blood leaking down their face. You're saying you can't throw one of those in there? Andrew just trying to trim, bro. Andrew like Andrew saw them 1.5 million tweets. Goddamn, T, I got. He was like, I'm gonna show y'all something. Hey, 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 hey. And tomorrow, when you trend and you in trouble, we gonna yo, see if you gonna see shows up for you. Yo, they not. 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 It's all good though. They not. But I'm gonna have a bunch of Puerto Ricans like, yo, that's a good point though. That's a good point. Let me make a good point. John Connery comes out and says some words. Yo, Sean Connery is a wild. Boy, Scotland, son. Yeah. Yes, bro. We yeah. James Bond out here. I didn't know that. Come, on, yo, don't t- TVs too. They got like made the TVs, bro. <laughs> we made TVs, bro. After said he smacked his wife, they were like, oh, son, <laughs> yo, this guy is the wildest dude. Barbara Walters interviews him, right? And she's like, one time you said that uh, sometimes women need a little slap to stay in line. I remember that. Uh-huh. She thought she was gonna like that catch him and like he gone. was gonna like backpedal. He's like, I right, shut it. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you need a good smack or two. And yeah, everyone was like, wait, hold on, he's doubling down. I'm gone since then. Wild ass people, bro. So listen, uh, yeah. the moral of the story is I don't think T I don't think TI was wrong. I just think that he needed more balance. Meaning yeah. like that's what I go back to the sacred masculine and divine feminine, because the sacred masculine can look like toxic masculinity when it's not enough divine balance. feminine right. attributes to balance it out. All right. That's all. But at the more at the end of the day, all he's trying to do is keep his 16-year-old daughter from getting pregnant, getting mm-hmm. the STD. He's just being he's really just being overprotective. I am not going to chastise a father for being overprotective. Like and by the way, that's another thing. Can, I ask can you, you a call question? this patriarchy? 
This is not patriarchy. Yeah, they, they will call it. But that. can you? It's, it's a father and a daughter. He's really just trying to protect her from fucking getting pregnant or let whatever. You, let me ask you a question. But, Charlotte, but is he taking do you, his do you son? ask your daughter if she did her homework? Yes. And then do you say, show it to me? No, I take her word for it. Ah, uh, okay. I get what you're going, but yeah, I think I think I take, that's kind of common. Show me you did your but homework, that's a, but that's a different relationship you have than your your parents had with you, and you know you broke that cycle. But but going back to what I said about Ti and his daughter, Ti if, if Ti's daughter was doing something, I'm just saying I don't know if she was doing something like sneaking out of the house, mm. right, right? Right? If my daughter was telling me she was doing her homework, but her teacher was calling me saying, "Hey, she's not turning her homework in." Now we talking. When I ask her for her homework and she don't show it to me, I'm gonna say, "Well, I want to see." I mean, if she yeah, says yeah. she's done. Well, let me see. I'm double checking what? behind her. That's her. That's her homework. Her what? homework yeah. is not having that hymen burn. But what's what's? Uh, I think that the problematic part and what you will see is: Did he do that with his sons? Is he's checking on his sons? Yeah, he don't, his making, sons don't have hymens. Yeah, yeah, but if he's worried about STDs, he's making sure they busting hymens. Oh, he's making sure they don't get herpes. Making sure they don't get AIDS. That they take care honest. of their bodies. How do that you get not herpes mistaken? at in the teenage years? The I don't understand how get, that happens. They have the the people who have the highest rate of STDs are, are young. old people. And young, it's, it's and group young, homes. and young. But the highest is group there's homes. a high rate in in older people, but yes. not the highest rate. You'll be they don't have that that's many the old people. Rate. That's, no. that's you, so the rate you, is the highest because there's not be that sh- many. Listen, you can't. You don't know when those old people caught it. Those old people could have caught herpes at 16. They herpes got, is a lifetime appointment. That's bro. an 80 year old herpes. Supreme herpes. Court. That's a Supreme Court STD. That's Supreme you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, shit is, that, shit is, that shit is there, bro. You could have got it at 15 and just grew with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. We're just assuming that, you know, old people got it in the old folks home. She probably been sitting with that shit. He probably been sitting oh, with that shit. Maybe that's the key to growing old. <laughs> what? Just Get being in. a hoe. Man, just, shut up, man. <laughs> Dude, hoes don't get cold. Hoes don't die. You don't have to be a hoe. You don't. You can not be a hoe and get herpes. True, but the chances are higher. And you know uh, who the spokesperson could be for that campaign? Who's that? Magic Johnson. Yo, his Johnson is magic. <laughs> I like how Charlemagne gets quiet. Like, he's like, I'm not touching now. I just like to hear where it goes. <laughs> if it's something I feel like I should build on, I will. Because he's, yeah, he's got uh, HIV, right? He Yo, HIV. how do you just get AIDS? Like, how do you skip all the other ones? Magic don't got AIDS? He does HIV. Have HIV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. like, you but they think say he doesn't have get... it anymore. Right. But they said Magic was in the streets. Oh, yeah, he was thousands around. of girls, yeah. He probably might have had other things. What's the, why would you tell the world you got chlamydia? You don't hold press conferences for chlamydia. Good point. If you got the <laughs> HIV, we don't care about Dude, nothing yeah. else. That's why I care about your record? Yeah, yeah, you got a little Jack gonorrhea in 73. Yeah, Tyson yeah. Ford with gonorrhea don't care. Why do you give a he, fuck? He press conference. Dude, that's true. It's like with he peanuts. Did. Like if peanuts are the ingredient in the meal, you don't care what else is in there. Yeah. HIV is like peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Every time y'all say peanuts, I think of Charlie Brown, and that shit confuses the fuck out of me. Yo, that's a great Schultz. Hey. <laughs> it's a uh, great Schultz. Let's do the goat. Do the goat, uh, Schultz. Let's okay. pay some bills. Okay, guys, you want some Yeezys? You want some Jordans? You want some off whites? If you're buying sneakers for a few hundred dollars online, how can you be sure that they're the real thing? Goat.com is the safest way to buy and sell athletic sneakers online, okay? They're the largest marketplace in the world for authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and over 600,000 sneaker listings. They've made the whole process frictionless and trustworthy. Goat does this by only accepting sellers with the best reputation and by verifying all sneakers to ensure their authenticity for buyers. Uh, I'm telling you, there are a lot of fakes out there. And it is comforting knowing, because let's be honest, you can't get sneakers on the drop. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if bots are buying them all. I don't know what it is, but I signed up for these drops. I'm never selected. You're not going to get the sneakers at the drop. You got to get them in the secondhand market. And if you risk it on eBay or one of these other places, you're going to get fucked. Guaranteed, you're going to get fucked. So you have to go to a place that is going to verify these sneakers. Goat does it. Every detail is inspected from the stitching, the color, size, weight. Goat certifies that every pair of sneakers on their site matches, matches the exact factory specifications. They got half a million sneakers on the platform. 10 million users, you won't find better prices for verified 100% authentic sneakers anywhere else. So, you want to go get those? Go to goat.com slash idiots. That's G-O-A-T dot com slash idiots. Okay? You got to go right now before your sneakers that you want are gone. You go to goat.com slash idiots. G-O-A-T dot com slash idiots. Back to the show. All right, what are we missing today, man? What else is going on? I had a note. We talked Popeye's. Eh, me and Wendy's nothing to talk about. Wait, what happened? I mean, nothing. I, I, I it wasn't. Everybody's tripping because I held a picture up of a wig. 
<laughs> and they it, thought that it was Wendy? Yes. Were you saying that? No, I didn't say shit. <laughs> we have a clip? Okay. What's the clip? Is Wendy still doing her show? Hell yeah. Wendy just got renewed. Oh, she did? Hell yeah. Wendy's on her 11th season. Really? Bro, that is a it's very quiet, that, that, that is that is something that people have not celebrated enough. Oh, at least I mean, I guess because I'm come from radio. I guess that would be the same as like, you know, y'all being comedians and then seeing a comedian just I don't know, who's the comedian that y'all look at and be like, yo, I can't believe they came from the comedy world. I don't fucking know. Who? Oh, you're saying a radio person has achieved TV success. Yeah. Uh, right, uh, right, on right. that level. Right, right. Not like a sitcom. I expect a comedian. I think it's a little bit more common to see like a stand-up have a sitcom, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah, like yeah. a radio person have that TV show, it's a little rare air. There's That's, few yeah, people. Yeah, absolutely. Done. But yeah. Al Franken was a comedian. Al Franken. Yeah, we were like, wow. He's, he's a, a senator. He's a senator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That. Then he got caught up in a little... Yesterday, um, I had a very nice afternoon with a longtime friend of mine. Charlemagne. Oh, let me tell you something, honey. I can only take Charlemagne in small doses <laughs> because the, the banter of the back and forth and knowing each other for so many years. You know, I met him when he was still a DJ in down south. And I brought him to New York. I said, look, you sit next to me and you make with that funny. And, and the rest is history. But small doses, you know what I mean? Right, right. Like, he is a mess. He made me cry. He teared up. That's not true. We're talking about people and That's situations. True. Talked about who's the donkey of the day. Fact. Uh, or the year. Fact. Or of life. Fact. Listen, I did not tear up. But the moral of the story is, you know how you know somebody? Does she tear up? She does. Wendy cries all the time. She is a crier. Like, she is a cancer like me, but she is a crier. That's mm. what she does. But uh, you know how when you know somebody, they can't bullshit you? Yes. yes. So she can't bullshit me. Mm. So she spends the whole time saying shit, me calling bullshit, her telling me, shut the fuck up, Charlamagne. Like, literally, that's all she says to me. So, so It's like, I am Groot. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Charlamagne. <laughs> fuck you, Charlamagne. <laughs> Fuck you, Charlamagne. Charlamagne, fuck you. It's just different variations of shut the fuck up and fuck you, Charlamagne. So friendship uh, blooming again? I never had a problem with her. But there was a little bit of... Um, I, I never could really be upset with Wendy because I didn't know what her punk-ass husband told her right. to make her stop fucking with me to begin with. And now that he's out of the picture, all of a sudden yeah. you guys are back to the, the yeah, chemistry Because she knows it's some bullshit. Like, she knows now that the only reason Kevin told her whatever he told her to make her stop fucking with me was because you knew I, yeah Kevin my, my Kevin's mistress Sharina wanted to fuck with wax and and that's what me and Kev fell out for he fell Get out with me out of here over his side chick we going viral nah, I, I, said, I said this before <laughs> no but, I'm joking yeah <laughs> but it's like it's like so yeah so now that she knows that was bullshit right. so that, but I, and that's why I never was mad at, at Wendy because I'm like I didn't know what Kev said to her. Kev's a very manipulative person. Right, so you can't hold her accountable for something that no. she has been misinformed about. But do you, do you feel oh, I like, like this friendship there's an coming. air sometimes of uh, superiority when she talks about you? Like, like, I, like just to say, yes. like, um, you know, like I went and got him, mm -hmm. you know, and now you have... make the funny. You, it's matriarchy. Yeah, and you have you have more followers than her now. <laughs> it is, yeah. But on some, I'm not mad at that though. Yeah, you can't like. I feel like there's on, on some level it, it, this part of it. You know what I mean? Like it, it is like no. she was instrumental in you know who you've become. You know what I mean? Just like you've been instrumental in who I've become. If you if you want to say one day down the line, you're like, yeah, you know, I asked Shelton you want to do a podcast with me, and then we did it. And I wouldn't be like, I said, I Yo, why you son of me? You <laughs> you broke my heart in a lot of ways, dude. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, dude. <laughs> honestly, dude. Andrew where no... was Ti when I needed him? <laughs> <laughs> He has no shame. That's what I love about him. He's absolutely no shame. Like, nah, I mean, she's she's just, me? Yeah, He's the one it. taking my Chaiman. Chaiman <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds mad Jewish, don't it, yeah. bro? <laughs> no, I, I just think, like, I was supposed to go on tour. This guy is so stupid, man. On tour with her. What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with Andrew Schultz, man? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Chaiman is a Jewish word. Is it? Yes. Isn't that the... Whoa! Wait, shut the fuck up, Chris! Is it? L'chaim? 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 trying to get the show canceled because you're trying to say? fire him. What did you just say? Now I'm not repeating what he said. L'chaim, Chris? What did you say? Did you catch that, Dwayne? No, it's a slur. Huh? Yes, so why'd you yell it? What, L'chaim? Hi, hi, All right. Hi... Hydroglyphics. Hydroglyphics? Yes. 
Hey, don't don't worry about it. Right what is the H word? Don't worry, I'm glad you don't know. <laughs> he said, hummus? hummus? Hierarchy? <laughs> I don't, you crazy. Yo, what'd he say? Uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson's campaign got yeah, yeah, right. fucking right. destroyed back in the day for using that word. What did he say? I really want to know what it we is. We're doing too good in life, baby. Yeah, I, I love right. that it, uh, Wikipedia has list of ethnic slurs. All right, start it up. <laughs> John was excited. Crazy. It's going to be a crazy Sesame say, Street A. I I know you got a sitcom coming, Ida. Don't do it. I'm not. <laughs> I, 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 come on! When, when when you have Tiffany telling you, watch your mouth. That's right. right? That's crazy. Why is it so hard for us to do that, bro? Because sometimes you gotta let it. You gotta get it out. You gotta I get can, that listen, H word out. I of your can system. get it out amongst each other. What? I can get it out amongst each other. We're amongst friends. We don't have to do it on the podcast. We're amongst friends. I was at a restaurant the other night, man. Oh, yeah? Were there some oh. H's in there? Oh, <laughs> exactly. You found it, huh? Yeah, I, you ain't trying to ruin my you life. Found it, right? <laughs> yes. Hold on. Hunk? No. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad word, yeah, bro. Right. You think? Yeah, all right. You fuck around your YouTube, get pulled down. You be like, shit. Come on. Is that a bad word? I don't think that's a I bad word. I've never heard Eric, that one. Homeowner? <laughs> <laughs> Just because they own a lot of buildings and shit doesn't mean it's a bad word, Charlamagne. This guy is so stupid, <laughs> dude, man. This guy, dude, come on, bro. You're so sensitive about this Anything shit. Anything else you guys want to say before we... Uh... <laughs> I do. I, okay, I, I have a show um, at The Stand on Friday mm-hmm. at 8.30. It's my own show. It's called Disruptive. Go see Ida Rodriguez this Friday hey. Disruptive, 8.30 at The Stand. Give me your Twitters and Instagrams and stuff. Funny A-I-D-A. It's mm-hmm. both. And um, I look forward to the tweets about this T.I. story. It's Oath? <laughs> What'd you say? Say what? You said funny A.I. D.A. And then you said something it's, else. It's both. Oh, oh Twitter for Twitter and, and Instagram. Instagram. Got you, got you, yeah. got you. Eric? Only H word I know is HBO. Go watch it. Hey! <laughs> Super white. <laughs> HBO Go, HBO Now, HBO On Demand. Uh, Eric Rivera, comedy, E-R-I-K. You can't spell Rivera. I can't help you. And, uh, and that was the name of his special, Super White. Yeah, Super White. Super yes. White. And he's always antagonizing people on Twitter. It's better than the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's an audacious <laughs> claim, dude. Go watch it. That's the real thing. Okay. Um, where to find me? They they know where I'm at. Hey. Are we doing uh, church oh. announcements? Yeah, we should. I'll be at Afrotech tomorrow. Oh, um, in Oakland. I thought that's in Wakanda. Yeah, my girl uh, Debbie Dev is. <laughs> Come on, my girl bro. Debbie Dev is. Uh, we're doing a fireside chat, and um, she'll be doing a fireside chat with me about my favorite subject, mental health, as well as um, just black representation in the tech world. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I, yeah, so we'll be talking about that. And tomorrow. where's that? Oakland, Oakland. Yes. Okay, cool. And um, anything else? No, that's it. Uh, come see me. Next week, uh, let's see, Thursday, Wall Street Theater. Saturday, Wilbur Theater. First show sold out. few tickets left for the second show. And then um, the following Friday, Town Hall, New York. Both shows sold out. Thank you guys so much. TheAndrewSchultz.com for more tickets. Edmonton, we just added a show. New Orleans, we just added a show. Other cities, TheAndrewSchultz.com. What's wrong with you, man? Your hemorrhoid acting up again? Son, I think it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> hemi is acting. All these, my making all these, hemi. Yeah, these hemi is acting up. <laughs> Not that other word. Uh, <laughs> that sounds very much like it. Oh, you know what? Can I plug Magoobies? I'm at yes. Magoobies uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, That Friday, Saturday. Shout out to Magoobies. Where's Magoobies at? The it's most in, uh, racist sounding comedy club on the planet. It's in uh, Maryland. In Timonium? Is that what Timonium, it's called? Yep. Timonium. Monium, Maryland. Okay. Because it's not that Doesn't Magooby sound like something you would call? Look at these Magoobies. Yeah, these Magoobies <laughs> moving into the neighborhood. <laughs> Doesn't it? No, what is a Magooby? We need to figure that no out. Idea. You see how white people think? <laughs> like, he thinks, he's like, let's come up with a new Bro, slug. that's a great <laughs> one. There's a there white guy pissed. He didn't think enough. of that. I know. <laughs> All right, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. And salute to everybody out there that's checking in with BetterHelp, man. Whatever struggles you are facing from depression and anxiety to trauma and grief, BetterHelp can connect you with a professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can schedule secure video or phone sessions as well as chat and text with your therapist. And anything you share is completely confidential. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option, okay? Our listeners even get 10% off your first month with the discount code IDIOTS. So why not get started? Simply go to betterhelp.com slash idiots and fill out a questionnaire to get matched with a counselor you'll love today.
Um, and guys, you got to turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more. Squarespace is the tool for you with beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks. You can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace is powerful e-commerce functionality. Let's you sell anything online and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right at of the box and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying a domain is easy, simple. You get the help you need at Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. It couldn't be any easier for you to have your own site. Just go do it right now and wait for it. If you head to squarespace.com slash idiot, you get a free trial. That's right. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot. You get to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace.com slash idiot offer code idiot. 